Hello, welcome to this video. In the last video, we spoke about how having many functions inside of every object is a problem and how we would solve that problem in this video. We told it was a problem but never spoke about the problem. The problem is when we have so many functions inside of every object, it's going to cause performance issues. It's going to occupy a lot of unnecessary space in the JavaScript memory manager or the memory heap. In this video, we shall create an object and house then all the functions. And when we call the increment function, in our example, we chose increment. So when we call increment function from the user object, the user object being the return value from the new user. And when after returning the value, we are assigning it to user one variable and user one is now an object. So when we call increment function from the user object, instead of throwing an error, we'll see how JavaScript is going to call the function from the repository of functions object. I am going to create a new file and I'm going to name it function repo.js. Instead of function repo.js, I am going to define a function and I'm calling it users and users as two parameters, name and items. Instead of this function, I'm going to declare a new variable and I'm calling it new user. And instead of assigning empty curly braces, instead of assigning an empty object by, you, by passing empty curly braces, this time I'm going to use object.create and I'm passing it null. Okay, now to assign properties inside of the new user empty object, I am going to use dot notation syntax new user dot name name being the key and name being the value that value is coming from the parameter from users function new user dot items and items being the parameter value coming from the parameter this time we are not going to add a key of increment function and a value of increment function this time we are going to return the new user with key value pair of name and items return new user now i am going to declare a variable with the name function repo and i'm going to assign it an object with a key of increment and increment as a function with increment and increment function is going to return the pre-incremented value of this dot items now this i'll show you what this is referencing to in a while in a moment now I'm going to declare a variable and I'm naming it user1 var user1 and I'm calling the function users with the argument of John Doe and an argument of 2. Now this is being referred to user1. I'm not going to talk about this in detail because I'm assuming that you're already familiar with this keyword and I'm going to dive right into the code and I'm not going to waste time by explaining what this is all about or what this keyword does. There are many sources out there that explains what this is in a great depth. Now let me console log user1 and let's see what the output is. When I console log the output for user1, we can see that we have an object with name John Doe and items of two. Nowhere can we find the function repo with the function increment. In the last example, we saw that the increment function was inside of the object, but now we don't have increment inside of the object. Okay, we don't see any hidden properties as well because we are passing a null instead of create. Instead of null, let us pass function repo. Now, when I pass function repo, let me clear the console and run the code again. Now, when I expand, we can see that we have the hidden, pro hidden uh, property of underscore proto underscore. But we, can't, we don't have increment function inside of the object. This is only the reference. We don't have the increment function inside, the ob inside of the object. So nowhere we are going to waste memory or this is going to cause no performance issues for us. This is a clean solution for us now. Now, instead of the underscore underscore proto underscore object, we have the increment function. Now, this increment function is coming from the function repo. Now, when I call user one dot increment, we can see that we have the output as three. That is coming from this underscore proto underscore underscore object. Now, what is underscore underscore proto underscore underscore doing for us? This uh, this uh, how do I put it in words? 
but before explaining what underscore underscore proto underscore underscore is doing for us, let me expand underscore proto and instead of increment we have this prototype and instead of prototype we have this hidden property again. Now instead of this hidden property we have so many values. Now outside of this prototype we have prototype here as well. The underscore the underscore proto the underscore. And we have the underscore the underscore proto the underscore here. So we have many the underscore proto the underscore hidden properties instead of this function. Now we get the increment value to be 3 even if the increment function was not inside of the object. This is happening because of the prototypal nature that is the prototypal inheritance of JavaScript. And the underscore the underscore proto the underscore is the bridge between the user that is this user one in our case and to the function repo it's it 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 acts like the, it acts like a bridge and it connects user one with the function increment inside of user one that's the reason when we call increment with user one we get the output to be three proto and underscore underscore proto underscore underscore is the link between function repo and users now this is the prototype chain. We, we, I showed you what the prototype chain was, but I never told you what it was called. Now this is the proto, and inside of the proto we have the hidden property proto, and inside of that we have hidden property proto. Now this is the uh, prototype chain. What is prototype chain? If JavaScript wouldn't have found increment function in the first layer, it would have gone down the chain to see if it has the function in the other underscore proto underscore. It's going to go down the chain until it finds the function. This is known as the prototype chain. We'll talk about the underscore underscore proto underscore underscore in the next or in the upcoming videos. But now what we implemented, the solution we implemented is what the new keyword does. This is the behind scenes operation of the new keyword. We shall talk about new in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.